backers, linebackers behind them, all specialists will sit here, DBs back there, O line over here, uh, tight ends kind of in behind the O line. It's going to fluctuate, that's going to move around. If you want to move up, play with effort, like Coach said earlier, okay? We're going to talk about some things that we're going to do. But the big thing that we want to do is set the uh, set the tone of camp. You know, our standard is, is our standard. So you're not playing against really anybody at any point. You're going against yourself, competing, doing as well as you can, every rep. The South Dakota Coyotes enter fall camp coming off a successful season that saw them host their first playoff game in the Division I era. After a team meeting last Thursday on the first day of fall camp, the team heads off for positional meetings throughout the Dakota Dome and the Sanford Coyote Sports Center. After positional meetings, the team heads out to the practice field for the first time of the 2022 season, where they hope to begin to replicate the success of last season. After a few practices are in the books, offensive coordinator Ted Schlafke gets the quarterbacks in a room to discuss some of the things she has seen the past few days. Job of evaluating the situation. What I would say here is you know you have C2 here. And kind of the feel of the day or the feel of the practice. Later that night, Coach Nielsen brings in a guest speaker to talk to the team during the team meeting about finding your why, living in the moment, and giving it all you've got for the name on the front of your jersey. Games, and you know, we talk a lot about uh, playing this game with pride and passion, and there's no better people to hear that from than somebody that has been, not necessarily in these seats, because obviously this is a new auditorium, but more in that same uniform uh, that you guys will put on on September 3rd. It's my pleasure to introduce our speaker tonight, AJ Shea. Um, the coach at the time, he said, you got to find, like, we're, one thing that I always, I would remember from his speech or from his af, uh, after practice speeches and stuff is we were put on this earth for one reason is to serve. Do something for somebody else. So. I know I'll get to something for you guys to take away. Just try to find something that drives you, that motivates you, that keeps you rolling. Um, to get you through tough times, to get you to be successful. I think that's uh, kind of a big thing. It's not all about you as a person. It's all about who's around you. It's another thing. Stay humble, stay hungry. Zigs and zags, during preseason. A lot of zigs and zags, a lot of ups and downs. We got to maximize every opportunity that we have together. Thursday and Friday roll around with more positional meetings, staff meetings, and practice to round out the first full week of fall camp. Yeah, five practices in, um, you know, gotten a lot accomplished. Um, it's amazing now with the way uh, and the access that you have to players over the summer, uh, how quickly uh, you can start progressing, and you know we've we've progressed very well. Uh, feel good about the way younger players are coming along. We still got a lot of work to do, but you know, overall pleased uh, with the, the first five uh, practices. 
to get back on a normal cycle. Um, you know, good to get uh, uh, a normal fall season in 21, uh, to have a full lifting cycle through the course of, of the, the winter, uh, to have a, a good spring session. And uh, we really, I've said this a couple of times, we've really had a great summer here. Uh, you guys worked hard, um, saw a lot of physical improvement, and uh, we're able to, to hit fall camp running, uh, which is you know, the last <laughs> two years, it's been a little bit more difficult to be able to do that. The KO football team knows the work it needs to put in each and every day to put themselves in a position to be the best team on the field every play. Tune in next week for week two of fall camp.